Hey YouTube, it's Michela G and for today's video we are gonna be exploring this um, abandoned mental hospital. It's over here in Cedro Ruley County or um, Skagit Valley County. I will be linking the um, directions to this place so why don't you come along with me. I am on the trail right now. It's a state park now so this is the trail and I got my dog up. Kaylee's up here with me I got Andrew, he's taking pictures of some wildlife on um, this trail. That's where like the abandoned barns are where the mental patients used to work there. So let's get started. So we just came up this trail and it looks to be um, the barns because they have this fence over here. That fence right there. And actually, I'm gonna come around them. And the rules say you're not allowed to go inside because the looks like it's starting to cave in. I don't know if you can see that. Buddy, stop it. How do you feel? Yeah. Yeah, this looks to be like the barn area, like the farm. I'm, I will be posting articles in the description box. Ooh, and just got the drone. The pockets? Uh, no, only one. That's where we parked over there. I don't know if you guys can see the parking lot over there. But yeah. Good boy, Achilles. You stay with your daddy. The DJI. Drone what? It's the mini. Mini? DJI mini. Above me? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Okay, so Andrew's flying above me right now. Um, I'm so scared. Oh my god. So, this place opened in 1913 and it literally closed like in the night 70s or something. It's literally cold in here. Oh my god, I'm so scared. You could literally be admitted in here for epilepsy, alcoholism, you could be, you could be admitted and your family will leave you behind. They will never come and see you ever again. And people just walked away from the place. When the place closed, they just walked away. And I'm pretty sure there's people here who have been buried because their families never claimed them. So it says right there, that's how abandoned this place is. Like, it's very unsafe to just walk in there. You left him. I know, how is he? Let's see. <laughs> he laid down. <laughs> Mom. So there's this place over here. Let's see. It's a Northern State Recreation Area, so it's like a state park now. Yeah, I was right. So apparently these are the dairy barns. And right there, it's a sheltered storage for the feed and the grain right there. And that's where they feed the animals right there because it has the holes right there. So that's like the windows for like them to hang out. Some people weren't even crazy. They weren't mentally ill. They were just you know, into alcohol or into certain vices and their family members would just make it seem like a big problem. You could be admitted in here for as simple as epilepsy, as depression, you know, anxiety wasn't even explained back then. Postpartum depression for a woman wasn't even explained back then. So it's pretty hard just being in here because I know that there's a lot of mental illnesses now and a lot of mental health advocates and speeches but back then if you're mentally ill no one came to see you no one came to visit you they threw you away 
They locked you up here and they threw you away. We got the mountains over there. Hope you guys can see the blue mountains. So we are now apparently on this historic route. Apparently you can drive. So I'm in my Jeep right now. I'm gonna flip the camera around. We're in my Jeep right now. This is the historic route. bakery they had classes they had programs I'm pretty sure they did electroshock therapy you know for all those people ew what the hell oh my god there's like a slide do you see that garbage disposal well look at that place right there do you see that feelings from this place? Oh yeah. It's pretty creepy. I can only imagine how much more creepier at night it will be. It actually has four wards in here and there are underground tunnels. Andrew was worried about underground tunnels but there really are. Haunted Washington. Shock treatments and psychosurgeries were not. Automies were administered. Many of the doctors were displaced from Nazi occupied countries. Licensing states working at mental institutes was so legal. It's crazy. Couldn't get a regular medical license, so they just showed up here. Cemetery. Is this a cemetery? What is that? Look, it's underground. Do you see that? It looks like something under there. Historic rat right over here. Yeah, literally no names were marked, just patient numbers. Dude, this is not funny. There's like fences all around. Apparently patients would jump off the buildings to commit suicide. They were never called by their first names or anything and when they died, they would just bury them with their patient numbers, you know? They say that there was housing for the staff members here, which include the cooks, the doctors, some doctors, uh, nurses, cleaners, janitors, um, what's it called? Apprentices too. You know, there's young doctors coming in. Look, you see that? It says 1929 right there. You sure they don't still do stuff like that? I don't know. Well, it's a historic site. Uh, huh? Do you see someone in there? Wait, there's cameras and stuff. I don't know what I'm seeing. There's someone in there. There used to be a little river running down there. It's all dried up now. Oh wow, there's flowers. 
apparently this place is used for like the job core they train people here but as you can see there's still that place over there I don't know if that is the hospital right there but it's a historic route They call you crazy here and you're admitted. I don't even know if you can ever leave. But what can we learn from today's video? Do your choices lead to success? Hmm. Maybe you'll find out eventually. <laughs>